I want tasers on full charge. There's no way to get up to the Raptor pen until the new generator gets unpacked and built. Whew, how about that temperature, huh? I am so glad we got hammered with three ice pops before our employment got uh, Yeah, this is good coffee. It almost makes up for the danger and humidity. Swing it all the way for you. with your gun rod. By the way, whatever you do, don't try licking the ends of these things. escapes? Ladders jammed. Somebody punch in the security code again, will ya? Good luck. I can't be. I have a bit of advice that might help. Hmm. <sighs> <Whoa. clears throat> 
Velociraptor? No, not Velociraptor. Maybe one of the other dig sites has turned up something. a little knowledge just a little further. Oh, come on! It was there? I was so close! Velociraptor? Yeah, it's good shape, too. I want partial credit for that thing. It's basically mine. Forget to bring scissors. I love to teach. Remember, Dr. Settler and Grant want us to be especially careful when digging up this fossil. I say, not as I do. Next time, I'm just bringing a sandblaster. Oh, come on, who tied this robe? What is that, a reef knot? by the time I get this thing out. Yeah. A jackhammer? Oh, now we're talking. I promise I'll be careful. Uh, that might need some assembly. six-inch retractable claw, like a razor, on the middle toe. Dr. Grant, Dr. Ellie, we're ready to try again. I hate computers. Feelings mutual. I keep finding our old coins. What? Really? That's amazing! Huh? How so? Well, until now, we had no idea that dinosaurs had any kind of culture, let alone a system of currency. Ugh, remind me, what are your qualifications for being on this dig again? I own a spade! I give up. You give it a try. Uh, be careful, that rope's holding up, uh, some, you know, uh, oh, no, what's it called? Uh, no, it's on the tip of my tongue. Uh, uh, nope, hang on, hang on, I'll get in a second. 
delicate equipment. That's it. It was holding a bunch of delicate equipment. Oh, uh, sorry. Perfectly preserved Compsognathus thigh. Really? Uh, no. That's mine. I had chicken legs for lunch. wrong with it it should have two wheels not one and handlebars that's why you fell off of it dave no handlebars <laughs> Another hint? No problem. Oh, yeah, that's much safer. It was really hard to just balance on it. That's great. Now it looks like the picture in the instructions. Shoot the radar into the ground, and the phone bounces the image back. This program is incredible. It's kind of mad. That thing looks like a six foot turkey.
Think you are. <laughs> John Hammond. I own an island. Kind of biological preserve. Really spectacular. Spared no expense. Our attractions will drive kids out of their minds. If I could just persuade you to sign off on the park, I could get back on schedule. What kind of park is this? It's right up your alley. So you two, um, hmm, dig up, dig up dinosaurs? <laughs> well... Try to. <laughs> You'll have to get used to Dr. Malcolm. He suffers from a deplorable excess of personality, especially for a mathematician. Chaotician, chaotician, actually. Sirs, madam, welcome to Jurassic Park. You'll find a vehicle you can take to the visitor center on the road over there. spares, get them from storage, not from one of the control panels.
Let's get something straight, John. Your investors, whom I represent, are deeply concerned. 48 hours from now, if they aren't convinced, I'm not convinced. I'll shut you down, John. <laughs> species of veriformin's been extinct since the Cretaceous period. I mean, this thing is a hunt. This thing. It's... it's a dinosaur. We're gonna make a fortune with this place. How fast are they? Well, we clocked the T-Rex at 32 miles an hour. T-Rex? Mm hmm You said you've got a T-Rex? Uh-huh. Say again. We have a T-Rex. <laughs> Dr. Grant, my idea is up to that. Welcome to Jurassic Park. you do this, I'll show you. Those gates ain't moving until they install the gears and whatnot. you'll find a great dino fat just down there. The most advanced amusement park in the entire world. contains billions of strands of DNA, the building blocks of life. A hundred million years ago, there were mosquitoes, just like today. Sometimes, after biting a dinosaur, the mosquito would land on the branch of a tree and become fossilized. This is what we call amber. Using sophisticated techniques, Jurassic Park scientists extract the preserved blood from the mosquito and now we can make a baby dinosaur. G'day, Henry. Oh, good day, sir. Perfect timing. They imprint on the first creature they come in contact with. That's it. So I'm kind of controlling or attempting is uh, it's not possible. Listen, if there's one thing the history of evolution has taught us, it's that life uh, finds a way. What species is this? Uh. It's a Velociraptor. 
They're lethal at eight months, and I do mean lethal. I've hunted most things that can hunt you, but the way these things move, 50, 60 miles per hour if they ever got out in the open. They remember. All right, let's feed these overgrown lizards then. Come on, let's go. Ah. Well, these cages aren't going to be big enough. I could barely fit a goat in them. That's better. Now yeah, we just add cap. Isn't that part of the paddock control panel? for a meal. Sorta. Fresh beef, huh? 
Boy, those raptors eat better than I do. What are they doing? Feeding them. The essence uh, of chaos. <laughs> Grandpa! Kids! We oh, miss really? you! <laughs> These will be your transports for the afternoon. The drivers. Oh, no, 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 no drivers. They're electric. They run on this uh, track in the middle of the roadway here. Spared no expense. Welcome to Jurassic Park. Still not clear on chaos. The shorthand is the, the <gasps> butterfly effect. A butterfly can flap its wings in Peking, and in Central Park you get rain instead of sunshine. Look at this. See? See? I'm right again. Nobody could have predicted that Dr. Grant would suddenly, suddenly jump out of a moving vehicle. Don't be scared. Come on, it's okay. She's sick. I have to insist that we get moving. You know, if it's alright, I'd like to stay with Dr. Harding and finish up with the trike. Sure. Seems to happen about every six weeks or so. I'd have to see the dinosaurs dropping. We know they're toxic, but the animals don't eat them. You sure? Pretty sure.
dilated. Dr. Sattler? She's looking right as rain again. Speaking of which, we should get back to the visitor center before the storm catches us. The car! There should be another car parked in the compound northeast of here. Not part of the visitor center, Dr. Sattler. I don't fancy that dino chances of balancing on the trunk. We better make another way over for her. <laughs> oh, right. There isn't a bridge here. Hmm. someone on duty here to release the ladder to that walkway. But you know, I can't blame them for wanting to get out of this weather. And I guess they took the car with them as well. We better find ourselves a shortcut, Dr. Sattler. Once we get past this fence, we'll be back at the visitor center in no time. Some greedy dino ate it.
Antler. This way. We can get to the visitor center through that hole. I told you how many times we needed locking mechanisms on the vehicle Stop doors. Item 151 on today's glitch list. We have all the problems of a major theme park and a major zoo when the computers aren't even on their feet yet. Dennis. <laughs> Our lives are in your hands and you have butterfingers? I'm totally unappreciated in my time. You know anybody who can network eight connection machines and debug two million lines of code for what I bid for this job? Go ahead. All of you. I'm approaching the Tyrannosaur paddock. Five million if you get all 15 species off the island. Seven o'clock, the stock. <laughs> 